I'm just outside Delnice, and behind me is the River Kupa, which is exactly why I'm here, because today is all about fly fishing, and if I'm very lucky, freshly caught trout. I have a crash course in fly fishing from Mladen Mirkash, the vice president of the Fishing Association of Goran, founded 90 years ago, one of the oldest fishing societies in Croatia. This is the time to let yourself fully relax, a time for contemplation in this idyllic setting, the soothing sounds of the birds and the river, perfect blue skies, and the prospect of fresh trout for lunch. That was great. I was hoping, actually praying we'd catch one trout, and in the end we got four. So I think what I'm going to do now, and the best idea, is to take these beauties and cook with them immediately. Now, I can't quite believe we got as many fish as we got, but the main thing is we got them. And so I've decided to do two recipes. Didn't want to decide between one or the other. So we've got these two wonderful trout. The first one I'm going to cook very simply on the barbecue. And the other one I'm going to be a little bit more adventurous with. And we're going to go more further towards China, towards the east. And I'll be steaming it in this lovely bamboo steamer with chili, ginger, garlic, some sesame oil, some soy sauce. And I'm just going to very lightly oil the fish. I'm just going to prepare my ingredients for the second one. So the smallest trout, which are going to steam. And for those, I want some chili and then ginger. I love that combination of ginger, garlic and chili. They work beautifully well, but they are big, strong flavors and trout's a very delicate fish. So you have to be quite gentle with the amount you use. And the same with our garlic, just thinly sliced. There we go. So we'll get the trout. And what I'm going to do is put some of those ingredients into the fish, which will help impart their flavors. Pop those in. And then what we'll do is pop, make them a little bed of those ingredients again. And just lay that fish straight onto the top and drop him on. Just the tiniest splash of soy sauce. We'll cover that up and let the steam do its work. So the, going back to the trout on the barbecue, now we just want to release that fish from the grill very gently because it will stick and then just flip that over onto the other side. I'm going to serve that with a much more, as I said, traditional selection of ingredients. And what we've got first is this beautiful, beautiful horseradish to add to our sour cream. That should be plenty. Black pepper. And a few chives. There we go. So while we wait for the other trout to steam, I think I'm going to prepare this one basically because I can't wait. First thing, a bit of that wonderful sour cream onto our toast. And what we can use of that is the foundation on which we're going to start stacking this beautiful freshly caught trout. And finally, to finish them off, because I have them, these beautiful little chive flowers. Now, take a look at that. I'm just going to just prod that with a fork. Feel the temperature. That's cooked now, so that can come off the heat. And there's one final stage for this dish. So drop it straight on. And get all of those chilies, that wonderful ginger, the garlic. Just lay those over the top. And finally, a drizzle of soy sauce and the dish is cooked. We caught four and I cooked with two, but I want to see how these will be prepared by a local cook. I head to Gucha Sobol to meet Silvia Sobol, who is going to do just this. This beautiful house was voted the best place to stay in Gorski Kotar in 2015, and I can clearly see why. Mm -hmm. 
she seasons the fish inside and out, and with one, she rubs with raw garlic and chopped parsley. The trout are cooked quickly and simply over the embers and served with potatoes which were cooked under the becca and charred with nettles which are cooked in a heavy iron pot suspended over a fire. When the fish is so fresh and so good, I think, I think this is the best way to cook it, as you did it. A little bit of salt, a little bit of garlic, and I think it doesn't need anything else. It's fantastic. It's just perfect. Yes, it's uh, our way uh, to uh, prepare this dish. Uh, it's simplest way, but uh, in a, with this way, you can feel the taste of uh, fish. Mm. No, and it's such a delicate, very, very delicate texture, yes. but very, very delicate flavor as well. And so this is a typical way of cooking over this region, would you say, just very simply on the charcoal? Very simple and uh, our guests uh, love it. Uh, as you can uh, see, uh, we have a uh, big trout here mm -hmm. uh, and um, we have a lot of flies, so the, the trout have a, a lot of happy. food. Yeah, they are very happy and of course fly fishing uh, like you've done today are very popular here. Uh, the guests are coming not from Croatia and uh, all around the world in this area to fly fish. When you uh, catch this kind of fish, and the easiest and the best way for us is to prepare it on this simple way, but the taste, it's beautiful. I agree with you.